he's running in place. <clears throat> and he's spinning. You know, he's up. Yeah, he's dancing. <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing. That's a handstand. <laughs> what was that then? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Can I start now? Yeah, look at me. Yeah, you can start it. <laughs> that's that's what helps the Kirby games. Is that, is that Kirby games have so much personality to them. Yeah. They don't have to be hard. They don't have to be challenging. They just have to be precious. You know, just the fact that, you know, Kirby runs into anything and he gets little owie stars. Owie. Owie. Ow. Precious, that's why. <clears throat> and also, it kind of shows off a really neat Game Boy foreground effect. Alright, now you can head down. Oh, this is nice. Uh, I like later games when Kirby actually got powers. Oh yeah, because it, it, it wasn't this game at all that he had no. his famous copy ability. That started in Dreamland 2. I think what, what's... Down or up? Go down. I think what's nice about um, uh, the Kirby series in general is that the really... You run, you, you, oh, you're not, I guess you're not this one. Oh, I'm Pirate ship. Well. What's really nice about, um, uh, Kirby games is that... Oh. What's nice about Kirby games is that each new installment does its best to add something new that you've not seen before to the series. In Kirby's Adventure, it was the copy ability. In Kirby's Superstar, it was the grand scope of the game. That all of these different I didn't like that modes. treasure finder thing or whatever. Great Cave was. Offensive. Great Cave Offensive is my favorite game in Kirby's Superstar. I got lost a lot. <laughs> well, someday when we play Kirby's Superstar, and we will play Kirby's Superstar... <laughs> It looks I like will, that is going to be my playthrough, isn't it? Yeah, I, I will guide you through Great Cave Offensive. Or maybe I can do Great Cave Offensive and you can do all, like, the other... Well, it doesn't. We can both do them because you got that helper mode. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this blimp. I forget what the blimp's name is. Kabula? Something like that. I keep getting them mixed up with Kabuto. Which was that giant uh, face that would give the that had that knew everything about Kirby in the anime? Mm, okay. As I mentioned in the last episode, yeah, you'd have, you'd have the little girl and she'd be like, "Go get him, Kabuto!" And he'd be like, "Whoop star!" How many stages are in this game? You are nearly there. There is there are five. Oh, then I'm about done already. Uh huh. Oh, okay, that was a blunderhead move. Hmm. Uh. Uh-oh. Yeah, almost. Remember these Scarfies. Can't inhale them. Feel free to try, though. No. See what, see what you get. Hmm. But. Don't think there was ever any kind of full release for the, uh... The English dub of Kirby. No, there were there were a few one-off DVDs. Kind of like Ultimate Muscle. Yeah, there were a few one-off DVDs, and that's about it. I did pick up the rather excellent uh, Kirby's Dream Collection on Wii, which has, as a bonus, three episodes of Kirby right back at you. 
just to enjoy. I, I like when everyone was able to buy Waddleby's. That I do love that episode. Like that, that one, that one is on the collection. But now everybody got a Waddle Dee in the house. And there was too many of them. Well, not only was there too many of them, then all the Waddle Dees left the, the, the castle DDD. So like King DDD's like, that's kind of good. I can't do my laundry. There ain't no Waddle Dees to make me supper. I gotta be careful. I need some help. His like his life turned into complete shambles because <clears> he didn't have his army of Waddle Dees to do all his stuff for him. Yeah. Oh! One of, one of my... I think one of my favorite episodes, and this is kind of a funny story, me and a friend of mine in uh, high school, uh, my friend Jaren, you know, we're in high school and we both watched this goofy Kirby show because, heck, it was fun and it was silly. I'm not going to get there if I get hit. Yeah, see, when it comes down like that, you kind of just have to do a jump inhale. That works, too. Uh, so we're talking about the show, and we both love Kirby. It's like, like, we're thinking about what kind of uh, copy abilities we right. haven't seen. That, yeah, keep going. Because that help. Uh, yeah, at the end of the pool, you'll find a secret. Keep going. Head across. Yeah. And we okay. said, we well, said, well, what kind of copy abilities haven't we seen in the show yet that uh, we might? Uh, I think there was a one up down there. I think there was too. Don't worry about it. Oh. Nope. You know how to, how to fight him. No, I don't. I don't remember. He drops a waddle dee. Well, that's a waddle dee, but whatever. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. It did work. You took a point of health off him. Uh. There you go. There you go. And he said, what copy you abilities... Remember, I'm a little bit rusty, okay? And he said, what <laughs> copy abilities haven't we seen yet in the show? And we're thinking about it. I'm like, well, we haven't seen Wheel Curve yet. Is there anything yet. down? No, it's just water. And he said, what copy abilities haven't we seen yet in the show? And it's like, how about Wheel Kirby? So we we thought up an episode just during our, like, oh, uh, during our uh, uh, study hall. It's like, okay, what would an episode of this show look like with Wheel Kirby? It's like, okay, here's what we do. It starts off with King DDD, and of course he's always like, oh, I gotta get me a monster, I gotta get that there Kirby. Yeah. No, uh, I gotta I got call up, and he calls up the guy, the, the Nightmare Enterprises, and he's like, okay, how about this? You call him up, and he's got, you know, and that guy goes like, well, I got just the thing for you, Triple D. A, it was a wheel monster. He's like, what am I gonna do with a wheel monster? He's like, I know, I'm gonna have me a race. I'm gonna have a race through uh, uh, Kappa Town. And, and, uh... And then Kirby will be sure to enter, and we're gonna get him for sure. So... We, we, we think about it in our head, okay, so DDD's gonna be driving his awesome, like, stretch limo Cadillac thing, and, uh, Kirby's gonna just be on foot or There's something. something down here? Nope, just death. Oh. Now you go up. And you're like, and there's going to be a twist ending. The twist ending is that Kirby's going to eat the monster and be Wheel Kirby. And he's going to get to the end of the race. And neither of them will win. It'll probably be someone like the chef or like the mayor or something. Maybe about a month after we sat down and just came up with this idea for a Kirby episode, we saw that exact Kirby episode play on television. The moon. Fly up into the moon. I would feel bad if you went through this playthrough and didn't now just drop. Drop. Just drop. Okay. And you can fly right back up and drop again and get that one up if you want. Okay. Which leaves me time to finish the story. So we saw that exact episode. Like all the way like back a, to the top? Yep, like a, and just drop down and you'll get that one up again. Like a month later, we call, uh, you know... We saw that episode where DDD ordered a monster that was a wheel monster and they had a race through Cappy Town and Kirby inhaled it and got the wheel power and turns out neither of them won and the mayor won the race instead. Like, we <laughs> called that episode, we had it predicted right down to a T. 
So that show is really goofy. I, I really do want to catch a lot of the uh, later episodes of it somehow. I know there was at least one later episode where the whole town got together because they wanted to animate a cartoon. Which kind of just seems like a one whole inside joke on uh, the production of anime. Yep, just like before. And when he swoops down, just make sure you're safe in the corner. Oh. Oh, what'll do? I'm surprised he hasn't swooped down yet. Yeah. Usually, Krakow usually does that a lot in these uh, battles. <sighs> All right, you you may just get through this. Oh, there he goes. He swooped. Do yeah, it too little, too late. Got him. Coming up on Hammer Brothers. Yeah. That might be my easiest game since Dodgeball. Uh, <laughs> Mount DDD. This one I might need a little bit of help. No, you'll be fine. Because I don't remember. You will be fine. Alright, coming up on Hammer Brothers, the final challenge. Stay tuned. 